from Studio 3 at Buzz TV. It's The Horse's Mouth with Tom McManus. All right, welcome into another edition of The Horse's Mouth here on Buzz TV at Tommy Max, of course, at my bar. Brought to our good friends at Heritage Capital Group and at Farther. Great to have them both on board. The financial wizards are here. The financial wizards are here. They're sitting right here at my bar. We're talking finance this time around. So let's welcome in the panel. Daniel Gillum is here from Farther. What's up, Dan? Uh, doing Dual. well. How are you? Doing well. Look Dan at you all. Daniel. Casual. You know, oh, it's going to progressively get more, yeah. you know, accustomed to the bar. How's it going, man? Doing it's good? It's going well. Yeah, going business well. good? Business is going great. I'm good. excited to talk about business owners. I Absolutely. think you know that's, that's, uh, that's our target market. Um, yep. Actually, uh, defending my presentation on Monday, where we will be talking about the inhibitors to adoption of uh, comprehensive planning for business owners as they go through their transition. Okay, so, interesting. Happy to yeah. share some of that cool. uh, as time allows. Absolutely. Great to have you on the show. Yeah. All right. Bill is back. Bill Prescott, how are you from Heritage Capital Group? Doing good. Anything new and exciting? Any new projects we're taking a look at? Yeah, a couple of companies coming to market. Okay. And also, despite what's going on, interest rates and everything else, there's yeah. still a lot of powder out there for companies to sell into with private equity firms. Cool. Awesome. Awesome. Always great to have you on. Kevin Lau is yes. back. How are you? Hey, good. We got all the financial guys here, man. We're all, <laughs> we're all together. How are you doing? Everything good? All doing great. Yeah, yeah this is right up your alley, this right? I mean, you probably stuff. got a bunch of clients that are yeah. uh, looking to sell their business at some yeah. point, trying to figure out when that's a good time. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I love working with millennial business owners, you know, yeah. kind of like myself, you know, yeah. essentially, you know, and looking for a non-traditional path to retirement or financial independence is what I like to mm -hmm. call it. You know, the traditional financial planning, the traditional retirement plan, it's, it's not working. You know what right. I mean? I mean, the, the traditional 60-40 model portfolio, I mean, bonds are down 20% over the last two years. Stocks are also down significantly. So mm -hmm. it's just, you need to find alternatives, you know, yeah. to the traditional path if you're going to maintain financial independence for 30 plus years. Yeah, diversification so, yep. too, right? Absolutely. Offset some things. Jeff is yep. back as well. How are you, my good, man? Good to see you. Welcome back to the show. Always a pleasure. Yeah, well, uh, this same deal for you, right? I mean, you've got some clients, I'm sure, that are uh, right up this alley. Oh, yeah, that's that's where I cut my teeth in the business. I'm yep. doing this going on 31 years, but business owners for me, I know 71%, I think, yep. have no succession plan. They have no idea of how they're getting out of this thing. Right. They're so focused on what am I going to do today to run my business, and they're not thinking about tomorrow. So right. We talk like about that a lot up. on this show, the planning, right? Yep. you got to plan. Mm -hmm. That's but right. people don't always plan. No. Because no. it's emotional. Right? I mean, yeah. especially when you think of yeah. something, you come up with an idea, a product, service, whatever, it's your baby, right? It's hard sometimes to cut that emotional tie from it, oh, right? Oh, it is, to turn turn your baby over to somebody else to yeah. grow it, or you have family in the business, and maybe that family isn't the right one to be the caretaker yep. for the business, and tough decisions that you have to, to figure out. And you know, from a wealth management standpoint, the last thing you want is a successful business worth several million dollars or more and you put it in the hands of the kids who maybe haven't been trained right. to do it, and right. then you take the biggest piece of their nest egg, and it all kind of evaporates. Yeah. It's a yeah. tough conversation to have with business owners. That's a big ego one, I can imagine. The family yeah. not wanting yeah. to let go, you know? Yeah, and then in the generational transitions yeah. are, are really, really tough. You have yeah. different priorities from one generation to the next, and uh, there's a ton of research that shows that uh, generation to uh, uh, ge from generation to the next, yep. uh, the third generation, the business yep. is gone. It's just gone. The, yep. you, we talk about planning, and uh, in my research, it's time, cognition, and risk are the three themes that I found okay. on why both advisors are not focused on the comprehensive planning for business owners and business owners aren't engaged. They don't understand the different concepts that are out there, both business owners and right. uh, advisors. Right and not making the time, and time is twofold. It's making the time on a day-to-day -day basis to make the decision to engage in planning, and then time as a horizon. Like, it seems so far away, why do the planning now? Right. When earlier is better, that's how you really So it should forecast, and for business owners, forecast and be done weekly, monthly? I mean, it's gotta be done at some, right? Quarterly or? Yeah, weekly you... is probably a little too much. <laughs> <laughs> a little aggressive, yeah. A little extreme. <laughs> the bartender, right? All right, all right? Monthly, I don't know, every three months, every quarter, what are we talking? Yeah, monthly's uh, a good check-in, okay. quarterly reporting out, mm -hmm. uh, and that's where, you know, we've, yeah. we've worked with Heritage on a couple of this. Yeah. Yeah. But, but it's even longer term than that, because what you find with most businesses, yeah, they're not thinking about it. Yeah. And then all of a sudden they get an offer from a private equity firm, 
to say, hey, my company's worth this much. Right. And now all of a sudden, if you're going to sell, you get your scrambling to sell versus, okay, here's my time horizon, and I got my books in order, I've got my management team, and I get all these things in order. Yep. And so it's, it, it's years in advance of saying, yep. hey, here's what my ex is. Here's a be. question. This is from a bartender. But I'm very curious. Multiples. Every industry has different multiples. How do they figure those out? Is it supply and demand? Like there's more, you know, demand than it goes up or down? You know, how do, how do you figure out what your company multiple is going to be? Yeah. Well, at the end, of it, it boils down to cash flow. Okay. So it's a discounted cat. Everyone oh, okay. talks about multiples. Oh, okay. But really, you come and you say, here's my historic financials. Uh -huh. Here's what my projection is going to be. Yep. And then, you know, what's the rate of return? So, you know, you factor in risk factors, where treasuries are. And that's why you're seeing in this environment, multiples have come down because interest rates have gone They've up. Gone up but right. it's a discount cash flow. So if I have a yep. company that is growing yep. and I can support the assumptions, yeah. They're going to go at a higher multiple than maybe a company that's just growing right. with inflation. And Fed did not increase or decrease, didn't do anything right. with yeah. the, the rate, right? Right. Yeah. And I think bother it, it, you or what, how does that make you feel? Well, based on the, that growth trajectory, too, yeah. I think, you know, we, we just went through our Series B. So we okay. just raised yeah. uh, Lightspeed uh, Ventures, uh, okay. let our Series B recently. And so based on the industry that you're in also affects what those multiples look like and that projected yep. value over time. Yep. But yep. Uh, yep. back to your point, I think the Fed holding was uh, expected and I think a good move. Okay. I'd love yep. to hear. Yeah, I think it was probably the right move right now, but okay. they're kind of leaving the door open for more increases down the road. I mean, to get back to 2% inflation, it's hard. It's going to be a long road. You yep. know what I mean? Right. And so I think that's why a lot of arguments last year were like, hey, they should have started this earlier. You know yep. what I mean? As opposed sure. to the beginning of 2022, but it is what it is. Well, right. Um, so that's where we are. Yeah. Jeff, last word, man. What do you, what do you think, buddy? I think the biggest thing more than that, because we're going to have the economic factors all the time, no matter when it is, but it is the planning piece, right? We have to have the books in order. We have to have... Yep. The trajectory in order. We have to have people in place. Yep. And uh, we can put it together. Anyway, we can all do that. That's all right. All right, guys. Thanks so much for being here. Really appreciate that. Hopefully, you guys learned something out there. I know I did, uh, at least to a certain degree. Check out their profiles and what they do. They all do great work out there. Just see them at IWantABuzz.com. You'll see this conversation. You'll see many, many others right here. And everybody has a seat at this bar. So until next time, be safe and stay cool. We'll see you right here. The team at Heritage Capital Group is special because it's a collection of people across the spectrum. We have people who have been in the shoes of owners that are looking to buy and sell and professionals that have executed transactions helping buy and sell companies for decades. I think when you talk to us, see what our experience is, see what our skills are, see the reach that we have, you'll be very happy with the recommendation.